it's time to do our Marvel Top 10 Action Figures of 2019. This is the Marvel version of the Top 10 Action Figures. And don't worry, people keep asking me, Star Wars is coming. I will be doing a Star Wars Top 10 Action Figure uh, video as well. I'll be doing that very soon for you. Stay tuned for that. Probably be tomorrow in that when that goes live. But I hope you enjoy that too. And just a thank you very much for watching these videos. I hope you're enjoying them. And let's get on with today's Action Figure Marvel Legends list Top 10 of 2019. Before we get on with today's video, I just want to go through some honourable mentions. We have Emma Frost and Hercules here. These were both awesome characters this year. I really enjoyed these figures, but they didn't make it into my top 10 Marvel figures of 2019. Um, they, but they do deserve an honourable mention because they were great figures and long-awaited figures in my opinion. So, just want to say that these figures weren't the worst, but they weren't by far the best either. So some middle ground figures there, but just ones that I wanted to give an honourable mention to, like I said. But let's get on with the top 10 action figures from Marvel in 2019. Number 10. Coming in at number 10, it's Wolverine. This is the first appearance Wolverine. A uh, slightly different costume to what we're used to, but it is the first appearance Wolverine that was brought to us by the Hulk comics. He also fought the Wendigo, and it was a great great comic and I'm so glad that we have this figure to keep that sort of memory of the original Wolverine um, but we do get so many Wolverine figures that um, he has to be low down on my list but this was my favorite of the Wolverines of this year but yeah he has to be quite low down on the list just because we get so many Wolverines and so many of the figures on this list we've been waiting for for years to come back so this is like the 15th Wolverine or something daft that we've had in like the space of a year so <laughs> He is number 10 on the list uh, for that reason. But guys, let me know what you think of this 80 year anniversary uh, of the uh, Wolverine in the comments down below. I'd love to hear back from you guys. Number 9. Number 9 is Deadpool. This is the retro Deadpool. Again, just like Wolverine, we get so many Deadpools in the collection. But the thing is, Deadpool has been such a phenomenon since he came back. Uh, Ryan Reynolds and the movies really did breathe new life into Deadpool. And um, uh, he's just been going from success to success. I really enjoyed reading the Spider-Man and De uh, sorry, Deadpool crossover last year. The, those comics were amazing and they continued in 2019 with some amazing stories. Even Deadpool himself had some amazing one-shots and great novels this year. So I've enjoyed reading all of them. Um, but what are your thoughts on this exact Deadpool? This is the 80th anniversary retrograde Deadpool. We've had a lot of Deadpools just like Wolverines. They do give them to us pretty regularly, all different variant shapes and sizes of Deadpool. So again, I've put this one quite low on the list for that reason. We've got so many awesome characters coming up though that we don't get very often, which is awesome. But Deadpool, for now we salute you, so have a good, good 2020. Let's hope we get new figures. Number 8. Number 8 in the collection is Wendigo. I think we've had one other Wendigo figure in the entire, ball, in the entire uh, Marvel Legends line before. It's a great figure and again it's a part of that sort of 80th anniversary. He did face off with Wolverine and the Hulk in those comics back in the day. So it's nice to see this new Wendigo with that awesome face sculpt. Loving the snarling teeth and the big ears and everything. It looks like a big abominable snowman. It's great for this time of year, especially if you live in a wilderness -y area. You could get some really great action figure photography with this thing. It's such an awesome figure. I'm a big fan of it. And uh, yeah, really recommend that bath piece. One of my favourite baths of the year as well, definitely. Um, X-Force was definitely a good wave, and this was a great bath. Number 7. Number 7 is Colossus. I've been dying for this version of Colossus ever since we saw the Select variant. However, they finally released it in the Legends format as a part of the 80th anniversary in a two-pack with Juggernaut. But Juggy was going to make this list, but sadly didn't because this Colossus was one that I was waiting for. We did have another Colossus in the series, but I wasn't a fan. I wanted this classic looking Thanos to go with the rest of our Jim Lee variant X-Men. I think this definitely was one that the fans were asking for time and time again, so we finally got it this year. And even though 
we're now into the next sort of, you know, the, the next century of Marvel. I do hope they continue with the 80th line and bring us more and more awesome figures. It's a great line to bring out the, all the retro stuff, and they should definitely continue it in 2020 to give us more awesome figures like this Colossus. Number seven. Number seven is Grey Hulk. Grey Hulk again, an amazing figure. This was again one of the retro ones. Uh, it came in a big box for the MCM Comic Con in London, and it was also released in other Comic Cons in across the world. But again, Grey Hulk is not a figure we get very often. Um, so I'm glad to see a Grey Hulk for a change, it, but it just makes me want to own that Red Hulk from Select more and more and more. But this was a great one. Uh, again, we, we get so many Hulks that are just the basic Green Hulk in various, you know, Savage Hulk, Big Hulk, Bull Hulk. It's nice to finally see a Grey Hulk. Especially one that's not just a regular Hulk painted green, it's got its own face sculpt and they've really gone to town on making it feel like its own figure and not just a, uh, a reproduction of a Hulk. So hats off to Marvel for that. Another great addition to our collections. And uh, de definitely worthy of the sixth place on this list. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Number five. Number five is Jean Grey. Jean Grey again came in the three pack with Wolverine and Cyclops, and I was going to include those in this as like a package deal, but no, she deserves a spot all on her own. We've waited for this figure for so long. Yes, we have had other other gym, uh, versions of her, but not this Jim Lee variant. This Jim Lee one it fits in with all our '90s looking X Men. We finally have her. They gave her a, br a beautiful new face sculpt with that long hair piece. I love that. They also gave us the ponytail head which um, is great, but I prefer this one, it just looks so much nicer. And uh, finally we've got a Jean Grey and not a Phoenix, if that makes sense as well. We've had a lot of Phoenix releases, but not an actual Jean Grey from back in the day. So this again, it's going to go with all my 90s X-Men, and she looks awesome in the collection, so big props to Hasbro for finally giving us one of these. Number four. Number four is Gambit, Mr. Remy Lebu from Louisiana Cajun Country. He's a great figure and one we've been dying for for such a long time. I could finally switch out my select Gambit and put the Legends one in his place so he's now in scale with his Rogue. I was able to reunite Rogue and Gambit together this year as uh, they finally came together. It's an awesome, awesome figure. They gave us this great the original version that we've all been asking for. The only thing is the head piece for me. It could, I think I need a new head sculpt. I don't like the eyes and the hair's a little bit, a bit weird. But I've grown to like it. It's a great figure and it's one that we've been dying for for so long. I'm a proper Gambit fanboy when it comes to X-Men. So this was going to make it onto my list regardless. But I'm glad to say that we have finally got this version of Gambit, the Jim Lee variant, to go with all our other 90s X-Men. Such an awesome figure and well worthy of this list. I wonder who's at number three? Number three. Number three is Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler again is a figure we've been waiting so long to have in the series. He's just one of those figures that never comes around very often and when he does, we love it. But we've, all, we've had um, different versions of him, the movie versions, we've had the comic book versions, and now it's time for the original red costumed version. Along with two other head sculpts, he came with his rapier sword, which was just brilliant. Um, I just wish we could have made the tail grip the sword. That's what I really wanted as well, because in the comic book sometimes he's, you know, he does use his tail to grab daggers and things. So that would have been awesome to be able to do that. Maybe if the tail was made of like a copper, like a wire that we could wrap around things, so we could hang him from like, you know, the roof and stuff using the tail. That'd be sick. And something that I think was heavily mis misunderutilized in this series. But nonetheless, this figure has made my top ten list and made it all the way to number three. So Kurt Wagner, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Number two. This was going to be a lot higher on the list, this was going to be my number one, but then I remembered a certain figure that I wanted at the number one spot. Number two though is Charles Xavier, and again he came a part of the Rider series, so we were able to get the big awesome yellow chair, the hover chair that come part of the X-Men. He does have a bottom piece, but I don't like using it. It makes it look like it's flying too high for me, and you wouldn't have that big steam piece indoors, would you? So I have just take that off, and I like it just the way it is statically put on the ground. It's a great, great figure, and I'm so glad we finally got it in the collection. He come with Cerebro, and um, he just such an awesome, robust figure. 
and it's one that we desperately needed in our collections again to complete that 90s X-Men lineup that I keep banging on about it's a Jim Lee variant so it's just a great figure to own and it's a pleasure to have in the collection again as it came part of the Rider series the, uh, the, the chair that he sat in as well isn't just a cheap plastic thing it's very nicely sculpted and even has details and little secrets of its own from the little keypads in the armrests and things like that so a great Charles Xavier figure worthy of the name and I uh, hope we get some more variants in the future, maybe. Um, maybe a Patrick Stewart one would be awesome. And finally, guys, who's at number one? Number one. It's Kingpin. Kingpin is my number one figure. I know this figure came out later in 2018, but it was more or less early 2019 by the time I had this properly. And it's just such a figure that I wanted to highlight yet again how awesome this Marvel Legend is. It's one of my favourites that I own. I've used it for so many action photography pieces with Spider-Man, Deadpool. He just works with and Daredevil even. He works with so many awesome characters. And I just love how big they made him. It's finally we've got a figure that's worthy of the Kingpin name. And apparently we're going to be getting a variant real soon. Uh, coming as a single packed figure with the pinstriped suit. And he's... Yeah, so that's, I would be welcoming that with open arms. I love the Kingpin and hope we get some more awesome figures like this and great baths like this going forward, guys. But what are your thoughts on my list? Let's go back to the main cam and finish off today's video. Guys, what do you think of this list? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this review, guys, please make sure you smash that subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us, really helps us out. It helps us keep making awesome videos. As well, by subscribing, you're going to make sure you don't miss out on the, uh, the Star Wars version of this list, the top 10 action figures of 2019. But until next time, I'll see you in the next video. May the Force be with you. Bye!